this change the world idea is a little, um, it, sort of, it starts to feel a little bit silly at times, right? I think you have to ground it. So this is something I learned, uh, you know, in taking that idea over to Flatiron School when I started Flatiron School. Um, you know, people used that like asked us all the time, well, what's your mission? What's your vision? I actually spent a lot of time researching that. And um, I came to my own kind of definitions that I liked, which is a mission is why you exist and it's eternal. Um, so our mission is to enable the pursuit of a better life through education, that education should be about a better life. That, that will always be why we exist. Whereas a vision is uh, what you want to accomplish. And so the analogy I often use is like NASA where NASA's mission is to pursue um, human discovery and space, space exploration, whereas their vision is our points in time, like a flag on the moon. We're going to get a man on the moon by the end of the decade, or we're going to get to Mars, or you know, these vision statements. Um, and this is great, and part of, a job, part of your job as a CEO is to relentlessly per, uh, communicate that to your team so that they can connect to it. However, it, it, it's really easy to, to lose connection to that. At the end of the day, if you're a salesperson, or you're a product person, or you're an engineer, and you're working day in and day out, and you could think about changing the world through education, yeah, maybe that's inspiring the first couple times you hear it. But if you don't, you know, these are big ideas, and they take a long time to move. You have to connect these things, these big ideas, down to what people are doing every day.